Hello everyone, welcome to Chai With Us podcast. This is episode number 550. I am Erica, the personal developer. You can also find me at emotional.freedom. Hello, and I'm Ivana from Oko Isabel. <laughs> yes. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, our best tips on healing. Uh, and I am very excited because I love mm -hmm. this topic. And it's kind of my, I don't know, my purpose. I've been working a lot on that. So I'm, I'm yeah. excited. I'm excited to see what's your perspective on healing. Okay. And to see if we match mm -hmm. because I think we're going to match on some things. A lot of times we do. Yeah, it just comes naturally. <laughs> yes, it's true. So we have uh, three tips each. Do you want to start? Sure. You always put me on the, on the <laughs> hot spot, don't you? You want you? me to start. <laughs> I can be on the no, hot spot okay. for a second. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'll start. So one of my first ones is just be gentle with yourself and with mm. whatever is coming up and don't put a time frame on your healing. And I think when we do that, it's like, well, I'm going to heal by this date and it doesn't happen. Then we get even more frustrated and it spirals out of control. Yeah. And it's just natural because we're so used to like time and putting time frames on everything in our life that it would just come naturally to, to do that with when you're healing as well. But that's not my advice. My advice is just to be gentle with yourself because you might think you've healed from something and then something happens that triggers you again. And then you're right back where you left off. Mm -hmm. So you never know. I think, I think all throughout your life, you're going to be triggered by something. It's just like how you respond to it and how you uh, decide to address what's happening and, and the thoughts that are coming up. Yeah. So my, my first tip is to just be gentle with yourself. I, I love your tip because I think it's like the base of any healing process. And you mm -hmm. are so right because sometimes we're talking about healing and it gives people the impression that you are going to be healed and that's it. And, and, yes. that, but, and that's not the truth. The thing is that you are going to be healing every day. I think that every yes. day we are healing of, we are healing something that happens mm -hmm. throughout the day. Some of us have more deep things to heal. Some of us, we have our past behind us and, you know, and, and it's harder and everything. But you are right. You are going to get triggered and life is going to happen. And, mm -hmm. and yeah, there is no, we cannot just time healing and say, you know what, by next week, I'm going to be healed. Like, it's not going to happen. I think it's more a matter of having tools to navigate through life than actually, uh, being completely healed yes yeah i love it um okay so mine is a little bit different from yours but i love yours because to do this you have to have that base that ivana just just told us so i love okay. it uh so the first tip that i have is um to face and accept what happened yeah, uh, okay a lot of us want to heal but we cannot even verbalize what happened. Uh, mm -hmm. We have like a, a story of what happened. We know what happened, but we never looked at what happened in the eye. Um, mm -hmm. And we know what happened, but we don't fully accept it. Uh, yes. Face what happened. Yeah, maybe we do it. But like accepting what happened, mm, mm -hmm. not so much. There is when you want to... The reason why we don't heal sometimes is because we like, there is a part of us that is not willing to let go of what happened. Mm -hmm. And we really need to accept, okay, so this is what happened. Just look at it. Um, maybe like with a cold look, right? And just, but because once you face something that happened to you, and you accept something that happened to you, first of all, the importance just goes down because it's not mm -hmm. a monster that is chasing you, yes. right? Because when you don't mm -hmm. share, I, I, I remember, like I didn't used to share my story. I wasn't as open as I am right now. And before it was like, I had like this freaking ghost behind me. Yes. And even things, mm -hmm. that, things that weren't related to what I've been through, I would relate to what happened, because, you know? And so- It's like when you, when you are, it's like when you're lying about something, even though you're not lying, you're just hiding. Um, mm -hmm. And it's, and it feels so heavy. So really first thing that you need to do is just like, 
if you're starting the healing process, be kind to yourself, and as Ivana said, and then, you know what, sit down and just face what happened, because we cannot change it. First step is also always to, to accept what happened, like, for real. Yeah. Not saying it's good or oh, it was nice, no, but, like, accepting it, because it is part of your story. It happened. Mm-hmm. It's so funny, but that's one of mine as well. <laughs> Just a little bit different. But of course, we knew we were going to have some of the same yes. tips. So mine was to accept the past and build your future and mm. recognize that you are in charge of your life. You are the creator. And so once you start creating, you start being congruent with the universe and you start creating your life. So you can be in charge of that and you can say, I accept my past, but it's not who I am. I decide who I am and I decide how my future unfolds before me. I think it's when we're in that victim mentality, like, oh, yes. woe is me. This happened to me. Uh, my life is horrible. I'm never going to get any better. You know, I deserve to be an angry person because of everything. It's just this negativity that's on us. And like you said, it's like something that's like on our, on the back of our shoulders that just dragging us down. And we're living in this lack of, or we think that the universe is not giving. We just think that everything is being taken away from us. Mm-hmm. and we're not living our best life that we can be living so I think once you accept it mm-hmm. and heal it and then you can start building you decide how your future is going to unfold yeah <laughs> this is going like intertwined everything is going to be intertwined this is amazing uh the <laughs> next thing that I had was to let go of the, the old story just let okay. go of it. Just let go of it and start creating the future, like Ivana said. <laughs> um, when you want to heal, but every time you every time you you start saying that okay, I want to change, I want to do this, and I want to do that. But da 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 da. But my mom did this. Exactly. But my my father did that. Oh, but my uncle did that. But in school they did that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Accept it and let this go. Just like seriously, the other day. <laughs> I posted a video on Instagram where I was burning sage. I was like, you know what you do with your past? You just, you burn it, you know, just let it burn. <laughs> just let the thing go. Don't attach to that. You, we yeah. have so much attachment to our stories, right? Because they're our mm-hmm. story, but like our story is also the present and whatever is going to happen in the future. And we cannot mm-hmm. look back and try to, you know, to get, uh, something to help us move forward because if we look back we're probably gonna just make the same mistakes so I'd say just learn whatever you have to learn from mm-hmm. your past and just let go of the story and start creating a new one yes yes yeah oh my because God. it's so powerful to create your story like you mm-hmm. are the author of your life you're the writer of your life you're the creator of your life you decide how your life should unfold. And a lot of people don't want to take that kind of responsibility. You know what I mean? They'd rather like be the consequence of their circumstance instead of being like the reason for everything. Yes. That's so, so it's scary mm-hmm. to, to, to take that kind of power onto yourself and that kind of responsibility. Yeah. How do you think that people can like actually start crafting a new life? By deciding that you're going to do it, like by saying, I will create my life from today. I will yeah. decide to do this. I will decide that today I'm going to feel happy. or I will decide that today I'm going to be mindful. Mm-hmm. So it's by de- first by deciding will be my first step. Yeah, I, I love you? it. Yes, I think that deciding, make, making the decision of, you know what, things are going to change. And from now on, I'm going to do things differently. Yes, mm-hmm. Absolutely. And then we have some practical things that people can do. Uh, We love vision boards. (laughs) We love journaling. So start creating something outside of yourself that gives you that image of what you want to achieve and something that Mm -hmm. you can look at every day um, to remind you of what you want to achieve. Um, I remember when I started this journey of healing, letting go of the past and everything, uh, that I was thinking to myself, like, I have so many years of sadness to, yeah. and, and I have very little years of happiness, right? Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. I wish I got to a point where I had more years of happiness than sadness, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. because then I would have more information on happiness. 
Yeah. Uh, and when you don't have that much information on happiness, it's easy to go back and try mm. to look for, you know, something for answers, for guidance, right? But that person will not serve us anymore. So mm. I think that's why it's so important for us to have these visual tools to access whenever we're feeling down, whenever we need yes. to be reminded, mm -hmm. you know, uh, using mm -hmm. affirmations, having vision boards and all that stuff. It sounds very silly and, but it really, it no, is really it works. good. It, it works. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You just I like what it. you said. Like I've taken like a piece of paper and I've written down all of the reasons I have to be happy or the reasons I have to feel loved. Mm -hmm. And whenever I'm feeling sad, I just reread that list. And it's like, you know, it's like has things added to it and it's written all over and sometimes it's yeah. hard to read. But I put that on my refrigerator. And so every morning I like walk by and I see it. And there's the power of visualization that helps you so much because then you're reminded of like, wow, look at all these reasons I have to be to be alive, mm -hmm. just to be me. Um, yeah. Another thing I've done too is like I've listed all the other three like memories that I have where I was truly happy mm. and what caused that happiness and I try to recreate that. So sometimes when I'm feeling down, I'll read I'll read like my journal and I read about the last time I was happy. I'm like, what can I do to recreate this memory or recreate a similar experience? Mm -hmm. So journaling really helps a lot with that. Yeah, and journaling is also a very good habit to have while you're healing. Because yes. if you want to heal, you want to spot uh, what is it that, you, that is happening inside you. You want to spot all the triggers and when you do certain things. You can be a very aware person and live inside your head. But writing things down will allow you just to discover even more about yourself. Because sometimes we trick ourselves, like our brain is yes. really smart on that. So I really mm -hmm. think that if you are on a healing journey... Uh, journaling is amazing because it allows you just, you know, when you need to just let it, let it out, when you need to figure out how are you going, you know, just going through the pages of my journal sometimes make me realize that, oh my God, I've done a lot. Like, look where I was three months mm -hmm. ago. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful practice. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. It segues into my last tip. My last tip is to practice self-care. And with that, mm -hmm. I mean, do all the things that take care of yourself, such mm -hmm. as journaling, meditating in the mornings or at night or throughout the day whenever you can, chanting mantras, mm -hmm. writing or saying out loud your affirmations and uh taking epsom salt baths like to, you know like there's something about luxurious about taking a bath for yourself and just sitting mm -hmm. there and relaxing while you listen to like calm yoga music practice yoga to move stuck emotions in your body uh journal we've already talked about that like why it's important to journal mm -hmm. so those are all my tips like just take care of yourself because when your body is healthy and your mind is healthy the healing naturally happens it's true it is so true and it's crazy because uh, I was talking to someone the other day about uh, some people when they have been through trauma, they, they lose their memory, right? And yes. some of the things uh, that happened to me, I don't remember, you know, there's, there's a chunk of my childhood that I don't remember, you know, mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of information. I do remember, you know, strong things and uh, but there's a chunk of things that I don't remember. And as I heal more, I start to recover some of the memories. Some are not good, mm -hmm. but it's like, I think it's just my brain saying like, okay, you are ready for this bit now. So, yeah. but it is true. When you, when you center yourself, when you ground yourself, when you take care of yourself, then the healing is going to start taking, taking place because there is, there is mm -hmm. space for it. There's, there's room. Yes. It's very, very interesting what you said. Wow. Yeah. Listen, I think this episode is going to be a kit to start healing. <laughs> I think yes. so, because it, it, I, I remember when I, was, when I was looking for information, I would watch this video, and then I would watch that video, and then I would watch this video, which is something that will probably happen if someone stumbles yeah. upon this video. There is something that it's going to be like, okay, I need to do this. And then they go to other videos. Mm -hmm. But I think we're handing like a lot of information that maybe, you know, 
spark that yeah. thing of I want to get started. Uh, mm -hmm. So my last tip is uh, to take responsibility. <laughs> mm, yes. Okay. Uh, people don't like this <laughs> this tip because it's like if I'm here, I need to heal. Is because someone did something to me. Life yes. did something to me. The president, the person who fired me, uh, the grieving I'm going through. Like there is something outside of us that mm -hmm. is it's causing us to be on this state of mind. Yes, mm -hmm. it is true. But we are responsible for our lives. So we are yeah. responsible for our own healing. It is important to see like how, how are you holding yourself back? How are mm -hmm. you limiting yourself? And what is it that you should be doing that you are not doing? Because yeah. like I came to a realization when I was about 28 years old. I started to think like 28, 29, I started to think like, I cannot blame my mom anymore. <laughs> I cannot blame yeah. the person who abused me anymore. Mm -hmm. I cannot blame my father for leaving me. I cannot blame anyone now because I am an adult. Mm -hmm. They are not here, but yet I am acting this way. Yeah. So they're not here anymore. So why the hell am I acting this way? Mm -hmm. Because I want to act this way. Of course, yeah. because of many, many things. But for me to come to this realization that, you know what? I am going to take the responsibility mm -hmm. right now. I'm going to be the boss. I'm going to be in charge. And I'm going to mm -hmm. do the things I need to do. And stop blaming everyone else for what's yeah. happening to me. I, I, have, I had to quit like, oh, but I... I don't know this because no one told me. Oh, wow, look, there's Google. I can Google that. <laughs> like, seriously, come on. True, I know it's, it's true. Fast, but it's, it's like true. Like, nobody told me how to do this. Okay, so, but I can, yeah. I can look for ways to, of, of doing it, right? Mm -hmm. I, I'm saying this because I know that so many people uh, are kind of stuck in this place where they really want to heal. But at the same time, you know what? But I have been through this and this is a limitation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now you can do something. That's the yeah. thing. Like you, you get to choose. Absolutely. Yeah. It goes with the second thing that I said about you are in charge of your life. You're the author of your life. Exactly. And you, mm -hmm. and like you said, it's a decision. It's a decision. Yes. Let me tell you one thing before... Uh, uh, before we, we, we finish and wrap this up. When we're talking about it's your decision, uh, go after what you want, create a new f future. We're talking about this from a perspective of you have the mental strength to do it. So if you are clinically depressed, if you suffer from severe anxiety, if you have on other different mental health issues, please talk to someone you know, and ask for help in different mm -hmm. ways because not everybody can heal from a YouTube video, from a book and from everything. I do realize this, that yeah. it takes a lot of mental strength. Uh, and, mm -hmm. and yeah, I do realize that some people really, really need the help from therapy. So that said, if, yes. if you have this several, any issue with your mental health that needs any more attention, please get that attention. And all that we said is mm -hmm. just a beautiful extra to whatever you are doing. If you are doing it by yourself, it's, it's going to be good. If you have a therapist, it's going to be good. I work with people that have a therapy and work a therapist and work with me. So just to say that, because sometimes I feel that we drop all these things at people and like expecting that everyone can comply, but not everybody. And, and that's totally fine. Like just do taking responsibility yeah. is also getting a therapist or a psychiatrist or whatever you need. Just want to say that. Yeah, I agree completely. I, and I think it's so important. Even if you don't have any mental problems, it's really nice to have someone to talk to, to get their opinion Absolutely. on what you're going through. 
Absolutely, yes, absolutely. Yeah. I, I, um, I, it also happened to me. I, I went through a rough uh, time when I lost when I lost my dad, and and I went to therapy, and and that's mm-hmm. okay. I didn't have anything like clinically. Yeah. Um, I don't have a diagnosis. No, but I, I in that moment I just felt that I it was too much for me, and I went there and. We should do this. It should mm-hmm. be as mo- normal as going to the dentist, I think. Yeah, I yeah. agree. <laughs> <laughs> what tea oh are my. you drinking today? Okay, so I am drinking uh, chamomile tea and valerian. Valerian and chamomile tea. It's, it's nice. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm drinking peach passion. Mm-hmm. It's a nice. very peachy tea. Peachy, very yummy. Peachy. What does it say in your in your cup? Mm-hmm. Is it something interesting? What does it say? It says delectable. It says delectable cater and it says proud to be a food serving, bread buttering, meal preparing, <laughs> hot or cold on all occasion caterer. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> that's really cute. Yeah. Hi. Okay, everyone. If you got to this point, thank you very much for watching the entire video. Uh, and uh, thank you for listening on Spotify as well and other podcast platforms. And like, comment, talk to us. What yes. do you want to ask to our audience today? Just, um, is there something that you're going through that you need healing from? Uh, how can we help you? And mm-hmm. what are some steps that you resonate with that we talked about in our podcast? Yeah. All right. See you next week, everyone. Sounds good. Bye.